Thank you. And before you uh, let you come up and have a look, I just thought I'd give you a quick walk around with somebody saying it waits on it, starting at the front. Um, something you can spend and you can use the configurators at the back. Um, we have here the front splitter. This has been spent in carbon fiber. You could set it in different contrasting colors. Take it out to use it. a bright claret orange on the front there if you want to. Moving back, we see here the brake discs. This car is specified as steel brakes. Now we can as an option have carbon ceramic brakes. However, the reason people like carbon ceramic brakes, unless they're going on the circuit, is because steel discs are heavier than carbon ceramic. Well, because we at McLaren, as we always do, think in a different way, the steel discs on the McLaren MP412C weigh the same as carbon ceramic. So you don't want carbon ceramic on the, on the circuit. Uh, moving back, as I said earlier, the body shell is all about control of airflow. Um, we could have put radiators, as other people do, at the front, but that's bad because you have weight at the front of the front wheels, which is very bad for handling, and then you have extra weight in piping. We have two very small radiators there from Turbo H coolers, but the main radiators are back here. Now, if we, you want radiators to face into the airflow for maximum cooling, well, that would make cars too wide. So we use the aerodynamics from Formula One and the fact that we have one of the most sophisticated wind tunnels in the world at Woking to create turning vanes that move the air straight into the radiators which are close to the engine, thus cutting down on weight. Moving further back, um, at the back here when you come up and have a look a bit later, what's there is not actually a spoiler. You can see it deploying on the video. It is in fact an air brake. Um, and what this means is that you have amazing stopping. It can, this car can stop from a, a go from 100 miles down to zero in just seven car lengths. Also, you have amazing handling. Because if you think about it, when you apply brakes to speed, all the pressure goes onto the front wheels and you lose traction on the rear and get wobble and you can lose control. But an air brake at the back, that pushes the car down at the back and therefore improves handling on the circuit and improves the stopping distance. Um, you'll notice that the windscreen is perhaps deeper than it is long, or wide, um, and that's because you want visibility forward. And when you get in and check the car out, we've got seating positions as close into the centre as possible, which is the best way to have a seating position in a car. But you'll also notice that the peak of the wings is immediately above the centre of the wheels. So when you're on the circuit, you will know where to position the car. And our chief test driver, Chris Goodwin, who you saw on the screen there, um, he actually believes that just knowing where your car is on the circuit is worth another couple of hundred horsepower. And this car already has 600 horsepower. Anyway, I could keep rattling on and on and on. There are a team here from McLaren and from Daytona. And Daytona have been sending their people to Woking to be trained up. They will be able to answer any of your questions. Um, and so I don't want to bore everyone with the tech stuff, but there's a lot that is different about this car that you will not find on any other road car. Thank you very much indeed. in the DBS one of these, huh? Difficult to say, until I've driven it, I won't be swayed by bits of glass. Driving positions are right. I like what he said about the wings, that is cool. I'm in the back. It's on the 
rocks. <laughs> Why not? Only gonna be here in a year's time anyway. Problem is when you transplant that one, it's not other house you can't. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Hey, another pipe's going up. Oh my god. There's a thick horse coming at you. Yeah. Why is it very close? <laughs> Just you trade your bike in for this one? Eh? Fuck, any day, dude. So there were sensors, apparently. Thank <laughs> you. 